I have a passion for teaching and watching my students grow and learn. And I thought it was time that I do that myself. And once you find it, what's your brain do next? So how much is it? Good. I'm Giovanni Seely, IT instructor at McCann School of Business and Technology and pursuing a master's degree at Boston University Online. So before my career in education, I was in business. I was executive management for approximately 15 years where I was helping companies make money. And though I enjoyed it, there was a time in my life that came when an epiphany hit. I wanted more. I realized that I had a gift, that my gift could be to give back to others around me and help them succeed. And that's why I decided to go into education. How do I start a column in a table now? <laughs> a bracket. So. Uh, Mr. Seeley really, really loves what he does and he really, really cares whether we pass or not and whether we understand the material and, and so that we can use it um, in our careers. He really gets to know you as a person individually. He likes the interaction back and forth that you give. His classes are a lot of fun. He does care about the students. He's not here because it's a job. He's here to help us learn. Which way did it go? Down. I wouldn't even consider this a job. This is a passion. Anyone who walks into my room is part of my family from that point on. And I only want them to have the type of success and passion that I have for what I do. I hope that they find in their lives as well. Vote for President Seeley. Um. <laughs> Every day that I come into a classroom, I'm asking my students to um, achieve higher goals, to not quit on their education. And I found myself in a way saying, why am I not doing it as well? Thankfully, I found Boston University's Computer Information Systems master's degree. I thought it would be the most uh, beneficial opportunity for me to stay in my classroom every day, but then go home and not be the teacher anymore. Now I was a student. When we first learned that Giovanni was taking classes, we couldn't have been happier because it definitely improves his knowledge in his respective area and he's able to pass it on to his students. He comes to school and teaches us all day and then he goes home and gets online. But he's still there to teach us. He never misses a day. The balance is working a 40-hour week and afterwards I come home and I read uh, up until pretty much the time I, I go to bed, which is uh, maybe 2 a.m. and uh, I get up in the morning and, and do the same thing, read and uh, then I'm back on campus teaching. So it's, it's almost having uh, two full-time jobs, but it's so worth it. I never ask my students to quit on me and uh, that's the motivation that I can't quit on them. I think Giovanni has grown in his role as an educator because of the fact that he's also a student he inspires me because I'm just going for my associates right now um, and, and to, to go for a master's degree in, in his field is just is phenomenal. Just seeing what he does outside of teaching us makes, helps me relate to the fact that he's learning too still. He's just like us. I think he's going to become more employable. I think he's going to become more knowledgeable in his area and he's soon going to be looked at as, as an expert in his field, not only because of his work experience, but now because of his training and his education. We have the ability to improve ourselves and to do things in our lives that no one can take away from us. And uh, that's exactly what I do day in and day out. Whether I'm sitting right here working on my master's degree, or on campus working with my students. I only ask that I give them 100%, and I ask that of myself in my master's degree as well. And when I achieve my degree, no one can take that away from me. It's been the greatest experience for me, and it's something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. <laughs>